Before I begin, if you would like an overview of the varying beliefs concerning the rapture, I would encourage you to read the article, The Rapture Question by Elwin Roach. You will find this on my website at grainofwheatpublishing.org. Another good reference is the book by Dr. Stephen Jones, The Rapture in the Light of Tabernacles. Dr. Jones' website is at godskingdom.org. I personally have not believed in the rapture for quite some time. In fact, not for most of my life. And as is the case with any belief I embrace, I have re-examined my reasons more than once in the past many years. In this article, I will give you two main reasons why the rapture theory doesn't work in light of scripture. We'll begin with the following from 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Boasting is necessary, though it is not profitable, but I will go on to visions and revelations of the Lord. I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago, whether in the body I do not know, or out of the body I do not know, God knows. Such a man was caught up to the third heaven, and I know how such a man, whether in the body or apart from the body I do not know, God knows, was caught up into paradise and heard inexpressible words, which a man is not permitted to speak. What I wish to point out first is the number 14 in the phrase 14 years ago. In his book, The Biblical Meaning of Numbers from 1 to 40, Dr. Stephen Jones states that 14 is the number of deliverance or release. In his book, Number in Scripture, E. W. Bullinger states that 14 being a multiple of seven partakes of its significance, and being double that number implies a double measure of spiritual perfection. Is it just a coincidence that Paul, regarding this experience, said 14 years ago? I don't believe so. The next thing I wish to point out is the phrase caught up. As you see, I've included the transliteration of this phrase, which is harpazo. Interestingly enough, this particular Greek word is found 14 times in the King James New Testament. Again, one must wonder if this is a coincidence. The Strong's Concordance defines caught up as to seize in various applications taken from the root which means to take for oneself, that is, to prefer. The New American Standard Greek Hebrew Dictionary takes a little more liberty in its definition, defining our phrase as to seize, catch up, and snatch away. Now, for the sake of understanding what Paul meant by caught up, Consider how Paul described this spiritual experience. Whether in the body I do not know, or out of the body I do not know, God knows. And again, whether in the body or apart from the body I do not know, God knows. Right away, we should see that Paul is not certain about this experience of being caught up to the third heaven or paradise, but we can be certain that Paul did not fly away somewhere into the stratosphere to receive these visions and revelations of the Lord. If he did, he would have had to return to the earth to continue his ministry, right? Am I the only one who sees this as ludicrous? Thankfully, there is another such experience like Paul's to be found in the following. After being baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending as a dove and lighting on him. And behold, a voice out of the heavens said, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. What happened to Jesus after he was baptized by John? We're told that the heavens were opened to him. Now, not for a moment do I believe that a big hole in the sky appeared, nor did Jesus fly out of the water into the sky and then return. Instead, as the context suggests, the Spirit of God came upon him, and when it did, Jesus ascended to the right hand of the Father and sat down upon his throne. If this is not true, then pray tell me how it is that Jesus went forth from that time and manifested the power of God. In agreement with this perspective, consider what Jesus said to Nicodemus, a spiritual leader of the Jews. No one has ascended into heaven, but he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. In this passage, is Jesus not telling Nicodemus that he ascended into heaven? 
If I am correct in my perspective when the heavens were open to Christ, then the only supernatural sign, if you will, was the descending of the Spirit of God like a dove. There was no snatching away or catching up into the air. Nonetheless, Jesus ascended and took his place at the right hand of God. I believe this event is also typified by the following. And she gave birth to a son, a male child, who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up to God and to his throne. What do we read concerning the male child who is to rule all the nations? He was caught up, as we see. This is the same word Paul used regarding his experience in 2 Corinthians 12. Friend, who but Christ Jesus was first chosen to rule all the nations with a rod of iron? And he was chosen, which agrees with the root from which caught up is derived, that is, to take for oneself. So why is our phrase caught up so important to the subject at hand? Please consider the following. Then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we shall always be with the Lord. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 13 through 18 are the main passages used to support the theory of the rapture. However, as indicated by both Paul and the Lord's spiritual experiences, caught up does not even remotely suggest a rising of the physical body off the ground to a place far away called heaven. What it does suggest is a spiritual rise into the kingdom of God that endues such a one with the genuine power of the Holy Spirit. For this reason, Paul could state, and my message and my preaching were not in persuasive words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith would not rest on the wisdom of men, but on the power of God. Did Paul's experience in 2 Corinthians 12 equip him for his ministry? I believe it did. In part two of this video study, we will look at the second reason why the rapture theory cannot be supported by scripture. Allow me to close with the following. So when they had come together, they were asking him, saying, Lord, is it at this time you are restoring the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know times or epochs which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and even to the remotest part of the earth.